Uh, I've dabbled with the demo just a bit. We'll go and see about the uh, the campaign mode, I guess. Fifty men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho and a barrel of rum. Drink and the devil had done for the rest. Yo ho and a barrel of rum. The pitch was impaled by the balls of spike. The balls of red with a marble spike. And Cookie's corpse was marked. Yo ho! <clears throat> All right. Yeah, the journey of a barrel. So when I played some before, I uh, the, the the campaign or the the demo that I had was was just like a free game, just sort of dabbling around about with the game. Uh, we're gonna try this campaign mode today, so let's do that. I'm gonna adjust my sound real quick because it's very loud. That one up, that one down, maybe a bit. I want speech to be loud. There we go, that's a little better. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, sure. Okay. Alright, let's do campaign mode. Do we want to set sail without doing a dry run first? Uh, it wants me to do a tutorial first. No, no, I'm good. I, I, I do remember a little bit about the game. So we got Spain, we've got England, we have the Netherlands, and we have France. Um, I think we've got to go with, with the Netherlands. I think is our goal. 1620, the Netherlands have a very few colonies in the New World, and in Europe, and Spanish-Dutch War for the Independence. Uh, the Netherlands has begun raging for almost 50 years. So we got the, uh, the Dutch West India Company over here. Uh, nope, never mind, we're going to do Spain first. <laughs> Let's compete this one first. So it's uh, 1570. Spain is all over the place. Um, let's do it. Now we get to choose. If I remember this correctly. We get to choose sort of our um, um, our story, right? We can be we can be a pirate if we want to. Um, we get bonuses depending on our character here. Uh, I don't remember who we've got. There's a merchant. Uh, we got the buccaneer. We have the piratess. Um, and the idea here is we're going to be like it's like a trading company, right? Um, we can go piratey. Um, we can go adventurer. We can go and see what they do. They give us better captains. We'll have more ships that'll be working for us, trading back and forth with different cities. Uh, I guess piracy is sinking other ships. I haven't messed with that at all. Um, we can be the merchant. Doesn't require a trade license. Able to trade with all nations, even at war. Come with vessels. You know what? Let's try the merchant. And we'll be the. Uh, we'll fly the. The yellow flag, of, sharks. My name? They call me Rose Rosario. Vasquez. She's nifty, courageous, thirsty for adventures, and there's no deal she misses out on. That's me. Just like Herbie the Love Bug. Yep. <laughs> Story time. By the end of the 16th century, the empire of the Spanish crown was so large that the sun never set on it. From all over the world, riches flowed into the motherland, especially to Madrid, the place of the royal court, the mecca of flatterers, schemers, and officials. Anyone blessed with title or wealth found a safe and comfortable life here. For those who are not blessed with this, there is above all a way out. 
the Spanish Caribbean colonies, from which the wealth of South and Central America is shipped across the Atlantic. The poor people were allowed to leave willingly because life was hard and labor was scarce in the colonies. The settlers are driven by the hope for a better life, without poverty, but in freedom and perhaps even prosperity. But even the great rulers of Europe look eager to the Spanish colonies. Their fabulous riches promise something no monarch can resist. Power. So it is only a matter of time before Spain's supremacy is openly challenged. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings in the name of God and as representative of the Holy Crown of Spain. Heaven sends you, for the area to be colonized is vast and the development is a true test of our humility and devotion before God. And our intelligence, of course. Due to the large expansion of our colony, the supply situation is not equally good everywhere. Some towns find it difficult to secure their demand because of the distances to production sites, but also because of the lack of necessary production, labor, and building materials. Your first task will be to ensure the supply of basic commodities for daily needs in your home region. Details can be found on your task list. May the blessing of God rest upon you. It is the express wish of the Holy Crown to improve life in the towns of your region. Only then will we gradually devote ourselves to other problems until a uniform quality of life and growth is achieved in large parts. Okay, so I think we have a journal here which tells us what to do. I, I played this months ago, so I, I hope I remember what's what's happening. Hey, Don, how's it going? Um, all right, so our goal is to have a trading license for in five towns. Done. Uh, deliver a thousand commodities from producing towns to other towns. Currently, we haven't done that. So if I remember correctly... Um, it sort of throws me in the deep end here. Here's the yellow narwhal. These are my ships. I own a few ships. I got the Seville 1, 2, and 3. Uh, they carry things. We can sort of order them around as, as we so feel. Um, we have lots of different towns in the area. And the different towns, we don't have the English towns, but Seville, for instance, um, is producing certain things and selling certain things. So it's producing cotton, fruits, cloth, and furniture. Uh, but it's also wanting some things. So we can see in this menu here... That, for instance, um, it is making 18 bananas, and it's selling, it's you eating three of them, they're going for a good price. We could, like, we can, probably a good idea to buy bananas from here, uh, and also, and sell them somewhere else that wants bananas, basically. That's the idea. So we can have to see which towns are doing what. Um, and, uh, cotton, the, the green bars is kind of help us out what's, what's good to buy, what's not. So we should, I guess, sort of look around and try to find where the good deals be. Um, and yeah, we can go in. So that's that's the trading part of the game. We can also go into each town. Sorry, I'm kind of bouncing around here. We can go into each individual town and we can, like, build on things. So we've got the residential area here. Um, if I remember correctly. Somewhere in each of these towns, we can, like, build up certain spots. There's a weaving mill over there. A local business owns that one. Um, there's certain places we can go and we can make our own businesses in town and have our own thing going. Maybe there's no room in Seville here. Um, but depending on where you put them, depends on what bonuses you get and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I guess our first goal is to make some money. Building material and food is a good start. Okay, okay. So, we can see here, bananas, remember this. Bananas, cotton, um, fabrics, and, and, what is that, silk? So we'll see with... Cezal? I don't know. Let's see what they what they want. They they would like some bananas. Well, I've got some bananas for you. And you got lots of wood. Hey, Seville. Would you like some wood? Seville says they would love some wood. Ho oh, oh. ho! Okay, Seville number two. So I got a job for you. If I remember how to do this. I want you uh, your route. New route. New route. So, okay, hope I'm going to do this. Edit route. We're going to go to Seville. And you're going to load? Let's see if I remember how to do this. Go to Seville. And then you're going to go to 
Sizzal. Right, rum. Don't forget that. Let's confirm that. And then I... I gotta figure the route somehow, because I gotta remember what I do with you, putting you in there. In Seville, here you go, you're going to buy some bananas. Automatically by demand, I can tell you how much exactly, or just, let's just do it by demand, and just, let's just let the computer do most of it. And in Sizal, I want you to sell those bananas, and I want you to, no, 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 yeah, yeah, sell the bananas in Sizal, um, and I want you to buy wood from Sizal, and sell it here. Done. Money? We don't know yet. Hopefully it'll work. Um, we can name the route something. We can, we can name the route. This is going to be the Seville Cezal. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Um, I think we can get ca we get captains right for our ships as well. Let's create the route, and let's go to our captains panel, which we have none. So I guess we'll find the captain's license at some point and hire some captains that can head out on each of these ships. So Seville two. Did I just give you a route? Seville two. You go to that route. Got it? Now, get out of here. Okay, he loaded bananas all the way out there. He's a rowboat, apparently. And away he's going. Can I, can I follow you? I always want to follow you. <laughs> so, there he goes. It's very pretty. The monkeys and the birds... They're just, they're just losing their minds. And away he goes, and money in no time. Um, I think we can, we only have access, do I have access to this town? We only have um, contracts in certain towns, risk of plague. Um, and I'm assuming it's just going to be just these two, I don't know. Um, maybe not. Oh, wait, because of our, we're a merchant, we don't need that. Um, what are you making? You're making some hemp. Making some wood. What would you like? Would you like some bananas? You're making some sugar. Hey, uh, Seville, would you like some sugar? Seville says, eh, maybe. They're making a lot of cotton. Cotton and cloth are, are good sellers here. You want some cotton or cloth? Um... Where was it? That's food. Um, you do want some cloth. So I could do cloth. Um, to here, and then take hemp back. Hemp or rope. You want some hemp? I'll give you some hemp. So num so the next next trade route is going to be I need a, uh, a a new route, which is going to go from Seville. We could do this like all one ride, but whatever. Uh, down to Valladolid. I don't know. Um, okay, so confirm that route. But in wait, in Seville, you were going to buy that, and you're going to sell the hemp. Buy. I should do more things, but I don't, um, we'll leave it at this, just keep it simple for right now. Uh, assign that route, and get out of here. Okay, so he's gonna go do his thing. Now, there's another big part of this game, which is, which is trying to figure out a route. Um, he's got 59 cloth on him, which I, if I remember correctly, which I don't. I can sort of set this, this, oh yeah, waypoints. I can sort of set waypoints up, like... Depending on where they're going to sail. Like, there's certain, you know, the wind patterns and all that kind of stuff in here that we can sort of deal with. There we go. We're selling some stuff. We're making some cash, we hope. We'll pick up some hemp. We hope. <laughs> we hope everything goes like we want. We're just waiting for you, buddy. Do your job. Why aren't, you, why aren't you loading up? You got any hemp around here? No, lots of hemp. Oh. Um. Sure. Load that one up. Now get out of here. Oh, it's being repaired. Okay, okay. 
Okay, you, you do your thing. And here comes number one. He's got some bananas still in his pockets, but he's also got some some uh, some wood, which he's bringing back. To make us some cash. We have another boat, which we probably should use. Yeah, I have access to all the Spanish towns. Sold those things off, making a little bit of cash, I think. The nation of Spain welcomes you. Thanks, buddy. Neutral moment. Uh, we're neutral with everyone uh, at the moment. Okay, my fame I get. What is to Maracaibo? Am I supposed to go to Maracaibo? Can we go to Maracaibo? Okay. Maracaibo for my um, my uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. It's down here somewhere. It's down here, isn't it? That's a long way. I only go all the way over there. I guess we do have um, extra ship though. So you have a lot of sugar. You want some corn. You want lots of corn. I bet I can get you some corn. You would love to have some... Hey, you want some cotton, do you? Um, I'll get you some cotton. You also want some cloth, which I can do. Cotton and cloth is coming here. What do you make? You make metals and sugar. So, I'm just going to go back and forth here. They... What do you think about metals? I think that's a bad idea. What do you think about sugar? Eh. Okay. So, next route. Seville 3. I'm going to give you a, a route here. You're going to go... Your route. So, let's go from Seville. All the way. Here's the wind patterns you can see this way. Ooh. Um, to Maracaibo. Okay, and then this is where you can set this thing out. So you can, like, drag this thing if you want to, like, adjust the route in some way. Um, and you can see, like, the time it's going to take. 23 days, but you can adjust this thing and say, like, you know what? Maybe a little bit uh, different that way. Or you can maybe maybe see a storm coming in. I have it all automated. Or you can't have it all automated. So to avoid that micromanaging. But if you want, you can sort of deal with this if you want. I think all I did was make it slower. I didn't mess with much, but... <laughs> I just reset that. Um, oh, I gotta redo all of it. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, I think that, that, uh, actually, I don't know. Yellow bars. How did you say that? I don't know. So, in Seville, we're picking up, uh, what do they want? They wanted, was there corn here? Oh, no, no, stop that. Stop that. I don't even know what, hang on. Hang on. I'll just set the route for right now. Go away. What were you making? You, you don't have corn. You have bananas. What did Maracaibo want? They want... Oh, they want cotton and cloth. And you're going to make me some sugar. Was there anything else that you had, though? Coffee? Everyone wants coffee. All right, you guys want some coffee? There's coffee, coffee, coffee. Uh, nope. But you're gonna get it. Um, whether you want it or not, you're gonna get it. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that. Um, okay. Okay. So, that route, which we've got, um, let's do it again. Um, this is gonna go from Seville to there. Has a lot of um, railway empire. It also has a lot of, of um, tropical kind of kind of feels, kind of looks to it. In Seville, we are going to give them that and that. I'm just going to do automatic because I don't want to mess with that. Um, and you're going to buy sugar in in Maracaibo and or coffee. In Maracaibo, I want you to buy the coffee. And the sugar. You're going to sell that and that. Okay. Now get out of here. Alright, this is a long route, but it'll do what the game wants us to do. So, Seville 3, which you are now named. Um, 
the X Zane is what your name is. He's gonna load up on 79 pieces of cotton, and away you go. That ship's really weighed down. Yellow bars. Let's take a look and see what that is. So, because Seville only has one bar, I would assume they had more. But I'm not entirely sure. We have a lot of cotton. There's a risk of plague. Um, another thing in the game. So I went through the tutorial months ago, and um, oh, they want rum. Um, like all this stuff with supply time buildings and like the, the chance of chance of plague. The, this stuff up here. This is all things that we can deal with. And, um, there's ways of dealing with it. I don't quite remember, but we'll see if we can figure it out. By, by going in and, and building things and building farms and, and rum factories or whatever, distilleries. And we can get to the point of actually making, you know, our own proper business. If we go to Maracaibo, though, maybe make a rum. I mean, make, obviously, maybe better, probably better not here. Um... Is that a crown because it's some sort of capital? I think it is. Um, let's see here. What are you what are you making here? Oh, you know what? You have sugar though. You could make rum, couldn't you? Oh wait. Yes. So Town dialogue. Nope. 49% risk of plague. Now, if I wanted to go. Let's go here. Building space. Available building space is 67. So if I want to go in. I need a warehouse in town. To do this. So if I wanted to build a warehouse in town, can I do that? Buy a different ship. I can, um, residential area. There's a, a pub and a chapel. Chapel. I think we have to get some sort of a um, uh, some sort of agreement with them. I don't remember how to do that. To where we can get to where we can do that. we can uh, build things. Build train in this town. Increase your fame in this town. Uh, it'll require building permissions. There we go. Increase fame by selling commodities which are required by the town. Filling less than level uh, level less than two. Okay, so as we do this job, they'll like us more so we can go and maybe get a rum distillery and start making some rum stuff. Chronometrics, this is Port Royale 4. My boat. So it's, it's a long trip. There he is. Hopefully he doesn't get lost at sea, but he's way out there. Hopefully he doesn't have any find any pirates either. Let's go get a captain on board. Do I have any captain licenses? You know, captain's license to get that. Uh, I'd like one of those, please. Uh, where's my, um... 79 of 500. We got a long way to go there. Crew zero. Wait a minute. No cannons. The position of convoys on the trade route is poor. Reduce the number of convoys or actions on this route to ensure particular convoys... He'd be quiet. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I guess uh, maybe ideally would be ideal would be to have like that one boat go between all three back and forth. Hey, Moshi. I'm assuming that like our trip there is probably pretty slow because we're going against the wind, against the, the trade winds. But as we get back, we're gonna go faster. I reckon. And uh, these, these Spanish ships are going a lot faster. Oh, they're military ships. Okay. Is that Rio Hacha? Isn't it Rio de la Hacha? Isn't that how it is? Isn't that... Perhaps uh, pay off to set the route to south with the wind in the south. Like to head... Um like to just follow the, like that way, follow the land in, in and back, perhaps. I'm not sure about what the what the uh, the crew thing all that means. I 
because it says we have zero of 80 crew, <laughs> which seems like a problem. We want pirate mode? Ah, that's what we need. Find which which which, which towns have what. Ah, yeah. This instruction menu, which we cannot do, I don't think, anywhere. We could put a small warehouse there. Can I do that now? No. Do I have building permission here in Seville? I do. Stop a warehouse down there. Yeah. We can build a hospital, we can build some ta a tavern, a chapel, a market, a small church. You know, what we could do is we could make a, um, a rum distillery. Businesses. Not sure cultivation, but a, a, not a, not a brewery? There's tobacco. So we already, there's the rum distillery. We need a concession from the viceroy to, be, to allow me to do this. But that would be alright, because we're bringing those, those materials in there already, so we could like bring it in. And just make it there and sell it. But here we are. We're making our way to our Maracaibo. Uh, whoops. What did I just break? Exane. Stick to your route. Uh, yeah, you can be a pirate. Nope, this is, uh, this is game number four? Three? Four? It's game number four. I do need a tricorn. You're right. You're right. I should get one of those. <laughs> okay, rolling in Maracaibo. Looking pretty nice. They're building boats around here. The bird like it. Let's make some money. Shall we? The x pulls up. I see some crew on that ship. And no commodities, no commodities loaded, but we'll load up here in a second because we're picking up things from here. Oh, what else do you have? A schooner? Just three different kinds of schooners. And we're picking up from things from you. You really want some corn here. I want you to sort of do your thing. I don't want to mess with you. No, this is the fourth. That's what I mean. Fourth one for the night. Getting some repairs. We're going to start. Old Shell back is sitting and offers a piece of a treasure map, which is up for sale. Oh, oh. Yes, please. Do I have to go there? How do I do it? Do that mission. Accept. Treasure map. How do, I, how do we do it? Treasure map, treasure map, treasure map. Oh, this is pirates. There's no parts of the treasure map as soon as you can to find a central piece. Be able to seek out the coastal position at where the treasure hunt will begin. Ah. Hmm. There is, there is like piracy and, and fighting. I don't know how detailed it is. Okay, away he goes. What you got, buddy? You got some sugar loaded up. Okay. That'll do. And away he goes. And that's part of our, our job, right? This, um, objectives. Thousand commodities. We got 470 so far. After that, we gotta get our hometown of Seville's satisfaction up. Which would be delivering commodities. And I think, like, building a tavern also would do it. Find all the statues with help of treasure maps to gain additional fame. And tactics. Depending on the type of vessels that make a convoy... Captain has certain tactics available during naval battles. Burning arrows, grenade, inferno. Hmm. Okay, okay. Don't have any captains yet. No fame points. Promodel for Red Bull. What? Okay. Oh, is there another one here? Yep, 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 yep. Find Nuno and Glacius in this area by February 25th. Huh? 
I missed what that was all about. <laughs> what? Close to Cahuita. Where's that? At? I don't know where that is. That sounds. There it is. Is this the one where we find things like? Oh, you know what? This is the game where we like we can find things just sort of like along the coast. Is that this game? I think. Like little uh, little quests. Not sure what that is. The music getting exciting. Where's that water coming from? That's not how things work. <laughs> hey, we see anybody? I think I'm doing this right. The map moves fast, so it's, it's a little bit uh, hard to pee, uh, to see. See anybody? What's that mean? Nothing to buy there. Yeah. Bunch of folks just out walking around. So find Nuno Iglesias in this area by February twenty fifth. He's close to Cajuta. Which is that way, right? So somewhere around here, there's a there's some guy on the beach. I think is what that's trying to tell me, if I remember right. So if you see anybody on the beach, yell at me. I don't think I sent a ship. I think it was in the tutorial, and you just sort of just got to find the guy, or whatever the thing is it wants you to find. What is that? Hey, Christian Gamer. Rock. It makes you happy and cheers you up. It makes you feel better than you already are, and I was busting someone today. Thanks, Christian Gamer. Oh, I don't see this guy. That's Belize. It's a long way to go. He's got... West Blue Fields. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I guess. <laughs> DHL simulator. What's going on over there? Ooh, volcanoes. Whoa! Maybe he's on this side. I could be wrong. Let me, uh, let me look. Um. Drop sequence? No. Um. Towns, right, right, right. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I guess at least we get a look at the map. It's very pretty. Oh, I don't think this guy's out here. And if he is, well, no one's going to find him. Sorry, buddy. Is 
There's a big line of people walking this way. Uh, let's go back over to my home. We gotta make sure that Seville is happy. And I think the way we do that, we've got a warehouse over here now, right? So I think we could do a couple different things. Oh, I guess we could. Uh, did I be? Not, did I not build one? Oh, right. I completely forgot. Um, we have a warehouse. We're building a warehouse, but we need to get thirty-six bricks there and to to build the warehouse. I guess it slowly comes in, but we can we can help it by getting a route bringing bricks in. I forgot about that part of the game. Ooh, look at that. It's a Mayan temple. That's neat. Neat. That uh, search for old uh, Enrico or whatever is making me dizzy. Um, did you have bricks? You didn't. I'm not making any bricks. I don't know who makes bricks. We can see. We can go to here and look for bricks. Anybody got bricks? I don't need that many bricks. Just a few bricks. So Belize has them, as does Villa Hermosa. <laughs> um, I'm guessing you probably want those bricks anyway. So we could buy a boat just for that one special job. Not from here because there's no shipyard here. Shipyard here, though. That's not a shipyard. That's a fort. Here, what if we do this? What if we say... What if we get complicated? What if we get a boat going from there to here to down and then back? Is that too complicated? I think it is. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. But if we could get a... Um... How's it looking? Where's the... Where's the thing? Oh, it's done. It's done. Okay. So, it's getting built. In 13 days, we'll have a warehouse there. So we can see what that's all about. Apparently, my ships are getting all fixed up here. And patched up. You got some bananas. You got some wood. You got nothing. Uh, and away they go. My other ship is out here in the water. With a lot of cotton. How much do you... You hold 500? You got 230. That's nice. Which we've got our... Um, Right, we spent a lot. We've made nine thousand bucks in, in sales. We've only lost four hundred dollars by name, um, which is pretty good for all the purchases you've made. I think because purchases would be including the warehouse. So far, we're losing profit per day. Don't worry about that. Profit overall minus thirteen thousand for Xane. Xane. That's not how we do things. <laughs> Negative balance since seven tours means convoys need to pay more for maintenance and purchases than it collects for sales. Yeah, I know. These are all bad. We should find something better, I suppose. And you're making a lot of coal. Do you want some coal? Anybody? You don't have any coal. Would you like some coal? You're not using any coal, though. We got lots of cotton hanging around. Um, you're using some metalware. That furniture, get rid of that furniture. Nobody wants that. Is that luxury items? Ceramics, there's more metalware. You know, you don't even have any coal. And, like, that's a size one town. Any other big towns around? Here. Oh, everyone's here. 2,000 people live here. Are you, pretty, are you using more stuff? You are. You're using a bunch of wood, which we could sell over there. You're using a lot of metals. And you're not making any metals. You're using a lot of coal, are you? You got some coal, but you're using a lot. So if I got a route going from here, was that where it was? The coal place, and dumping it over there... Um, let's do that. So, Seville 1. Where are you? You're taking hemp and just carrying nothing, basically. I'm going to change your route. Um, I think maybe forget the hemp. 
Let's edit that route. Where, how do we do that? Um, edit the... That one. So, forget Seville. We're going to this one. Now, in that town, you're... Uh, actually, you know what? Before I do that, do you want... I'm not sure what you want. He's not making any hemp. I'm sure they want hemp. Can I say, like... They're not making any of the same stuff. So what if we just buy all the stuff that we're making right from here? Which I can't really see. It was wood. I can't, I can't see. Memorize this? Uh, what is that? Wood, sugar, hemp, coal, rope, furniture. Wood, sugar, hemp, Rope, coal, right, furniture. Make, buy all those, and then you're going to sell, you're going to sell, hang on. Cotton, tobacco, boo, uh, beer, ale, metals, uh, most to furniture off. Um, that one. What was it? Cotton? I think it was on there. Tobacco. And... Not that one. Um, but you're going to sell... From there, you want to sell, um, the furniture, I guess, maybe... Um, the coal for sure. The, um, ropes, tobacco, sugar, wood. Okay, that stuff is already there. No, it's not. Um, uh, uh, that one sell there, and that was it. Uh, do you have metals? I don't remember if you have metals. We're gonna put metals on though. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. It's made two thousand bucks so far. It's gonna make more than that now. I guarantee it. Uh, okay. You don't have metals, but you do have you have um, uh, these. You have a lot of metalware, which I think you wanted, didn't you? Yeah, everyone, I think everyone wants money metalware. Yeah, yeah, I think you did. So that route... Hang on a second. So at that place, you're going to sell the metalware you're going to pick up from Nueva. Okay. I'm not sure how much you can carry, but I'm hoping that you can, like, load up. Where is he? There he is. He's already on his way. Uh, he's got, like, a few things. <clears throat> hey, Alma. Okay, I'm gonna watch this guy. Where's my speed thing? Speed. Speed. Okay. I'm gonna stop in here. Don't crash on me, game. <gasps> Don't crash on me, game. Oh, come on now. Well, the game's not out yet. So, what? <laughs> oh, boy. It'd be funny if it didn't happen all the time with other games. Yeah, this is an expensive game. This is a AAA. But, yeah, it is pretty early days, you know. Hopefully there's an auto save in there. 50 men on the uh, load? No! Well, um... You know what? Maybe we move on to a different game. There is a free game you can go through, and you can play as, I think, anybody now, right? Yeah, England, France, Spain, Netherlands. Um, and same thing, you get, you know, you can pick your your people, I think. Yeah, there it is. Maybe I'll look the same, as far as that. Uh, and if you do it this way, um, you go in, and you can choose, I think, the year. Difficulty. 
Starting funds, the hometown. Um, distribution is just, I guess, that's sort of how things are spread out. Whether we're large or whether we're, we're tiny. You know, we can sort of adjust things that way. And then we can see how many pirates. We have lots of pirates. Automation, yeah. Okay, and there's our Dutch towns. Um, with this, with the pirates, we're gonna fight, folks. I don't think we start with a pirate ship, though, do we? Like, a, like a proper ship with cannons and all that? No. It's a bigger ship, though. Look at that thing. Yeah. Oh, I have a captain already. Old Stin. Uh, Stin, I believe we got just the one, but he'll level up as time goes on, and we can like rank him up in certain things. Uh, and he'll go do very. You know, we can set about to be a pirate, I guess. Oh, we have a pirate. That's a pirate bark. Look at that. Okay. Oh, actually, this is a whole convoy. We've got a bark with a couple schooners with us. So I guess we can sail around and and um, cause some problems. We don't know anything out there in the world because we, we have not explored, so there's nothing out here that we know of. He's very happy. He's just, he's just loving life. And I guess what we do when we find our way out here, we sort of... Ex Sort of explore. There's Havana. I'm not sure what we can do with about this town. Can we? Hang on, let me pause because I want to see if we can sink this guy. Can you attack? That's not how you do it. How do I tell you to fight? Pirate mode. Get him. You didn't get him. What is this? Military. Not the one we fight. We don't want to be fighting that. He's too quick. Let's hang out here and find the next guy. Okay, we're going to go pi pirate mode? There we go. Ah, the Jolly Rogers have been hoisted. Excellent. Okay. There's one right there. What are you? You are a merchant. Attack initiated. We can change our flag colors even. Okay. Uh, Stin, if you lead this attack, you'll lose 25 points of fame because you do not own a letter of mark. The opponent is not able to defend itself without any combat vessels. Plunder it. Excellent. What do we get? We surrendered before the start of battle. We got some uh, some bits and all kinds of stuff. We got some co uh, cacao and some cloth. Now sink it. Okay. And then we just go take the stuff and we go sell it. Ah. Hey, Rolf. Military. Let's see what happens if we fight a military ship. Okay, so we got a military ship. Uh, old Louise here has a skill of two, I guess. And she's much, much stronger with, with 112 cannons. We're going to go in manual mode because I want to see how this works. Is that me? That's them. <laughs> okay. Um, we want, um, opponent's turn. Okay. There they go. Oh, that's me over there. Oh, who's that? But I didn't even get to shoot anybody. <laughs> well, now what? Okay. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I lost all my ships. No, it's still there. I'm in the military. Did I lose my ships? I did. I lost my pirate ship. Alright. Anyway, there's Port Royale 4. It's out here on the 25th. So you get 11 days, and this one will be out. Hopefully the um, the um, the crashes will be fixed by then. Um, by Clips of Media and Gaming Minds. And, um, well, there it is. There's a Steam page. I just linked below. Um, what time is it? Okay, we can probably squeeze in one more.